Hello. The week before last, I signed up for an in-person art session with Melanie Chadwick and Crixis at Roskilly's Farm down on the Lizard Peninsula in Cornwall. The class met up first of all in the gallery space at the back of Roskilly's. It was really lovely to see lots of Crixis and Mel's work all over the walls. I particularly loved these paintings of Mel's. It was also great to see some of her sketchbooks out on display. And here are some of Crixus's beautiful bird paintings. We were each given a bag of specific mixed media art supplies and then we set off around the farm to do some sketching. We stopped off at various spots and were given a time limit for our sketches. We started off doing only 30 second sketches, which felt really nerve wracking. This is my 30 second pig eating out of a trough. It was a bit hard because the animals kept moving. And there was a field of turnips. So this was another of my 30 second sketches. We then did some slightly longer sketches. I think this one was three minutes. It was such a beautiful day and so nice to be out with everybody. Having limited time to do a sketch is a really useful exercise. It forces you to just get stuck in straight away and not be too fussy about the materials that you're using. Okay, <laughs> we loved the goats that came to say hello. Look at me in his full glory. A couple more quick sketches. The dark brown and greens are Neo Color 2s and I activated them with a water brush. The light beige colour was an eco-line marker. I opted to sketch the lying down goat because I thought it might give me a little bit longer to sketch it before it wandered off. And one final slightly longer sketch before we moved indoors. Here we are all sketching and taking photos. My final sketch of a little poultry house in the orchard. Back indoors we moved to an area with a big table surrounded by more of Crixus's beautiful work. Crixus and Mel demonstrated how to make some interesting textured background papers ready for us to make some collages based on the sketches that we'd done. I used my little 30 second turnip sketch as the basis for my collage. We had a lovely time sitting around and chatting and getting on with our collages. This is the collection of sketches and collage pieces which all the women on the course did. And this is my collage up close. I was a little bit surprised that I'd ended up doing a turnip rather than a landscape which I usually really enjoy. But I actually really quite like it. It was really fun on the course coming up with loads of different textured painted papers and I used salt for the first time and also spraying on some isopropyl alcohol. As well as watercolours we also used oil pastels and soft pastels plus coloured pencil. Crixis had also brought along some of her older artworks and this landscape she'd done really appealed to me and I bought it. This is it now hanging in my dining room. After the art workshop I'd hoped to meet up with two ladies called Janet and Vicky who I've been in touch with on Instagram. They were over on holiday from America. We didn't manage to meet up but they really thoughtfully left a beautiful little present for me at a local cafe that I go to. They left me the loveliest note and also two beautiful handmade watercolours. So I just want to swatch them out and add them to my watercolour swatch folder. 
These are from the company Greenleaf and Blueberry. They're handmade and Jenna and Vicky have picked out the colours Italian Green Earth and American Violet Hematite. Two beautiful landscapey colours. I'll pre-wet them because I know that Green Earth can be a little harder to re-wet and has low tinting strength. This is a PR 102. Really rich, lovely brown. I'm giving this one quite a bit of water because I think it granulates. Such a pretty delicate colour green earth is. And although it's quite low tinting strength, it looks very smooth, non-streaky paint. It's lovely. So I'll let those dry before popping them onto cards for my swatch folder. But already this violet hematite is looking amazing. The granulation pattern's beautiful. And this is just lovely, warm, rich brown. I can't wait to use that for painting some rocks. So here are my swatch cards. They seem like absolutely beautiful paints and I'll link to the website down below if you're interested in the company. Looking in my swatch folder, the Italian Green Earth. I haven't got anything exactly like it. It's similar to the Malachite from Roman Schmall. But Roman Schmall's Green Earth is a more greeny colour. This is kind of like a more delicate yellow leaning Green Earth. And yet it's more green than Roman Schmoll's Glauconite. Put that in there. And then I've got another PR102, which is Roman Schmoll's Caput Mortem. But the American Violet Hematite is quite different in how it granulates. And it's got a much kind of deeper browner quality to it as well. This is Daniel Smith's Hematite Violet Genuine, which is completely different. So yeah, again, a really lovely addition. So thank you so much, Vicky and Janet. It was really kind of you. I hope everyone's enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.